but there are a few comments that I would like, would like to make. Uh, looking back, who would have thought a chubby kid from Charlotte, North Carolina uh, would be doing this, playing the game of basketball? I never could have imagined I'd be here today. But over the past three years at the University of Tennessee, I've made a ton of incredible memories on and off the court. I've been surrounded by and met a bunch of phenomenal people who have impacted my life in ways that I couldn't have imagined. I've had a great experience with the NCAA and college basketball. And on top of that, I want to have a great experience in professional basketball because it's been my dream since I was young to play in the NBA. I knew that decision I made needed to be my own and I had to trust myself, but I also leaned on my mother, my father, my brothers, and my coaches in order to make the most informed decision possible. It's my decision and I've prayed on it and I've trusted my heart that I've decided that I will test the waters um, and enter the NBA draft process but I would not forego my last season at the University of Tennessee with the capability of coming back and finishing what I started here. This process helps me gather information as a player and to find out what I need to do to improve. I will use the new rules of allowing a player to hire an agent to make the most informative decision possible. And I'll go through this process um, trying to gather as much information as possible because it is a win-win scenario in both, in both ways. Thank you. I appreciate everything you all do, as well as the loyal support of the greatest fans in the country. Thank you. Yes, what are you going to, what criteria are you using when you decide whether you want to stay in the draft or go? Is it going to be if whether you think you're going in the first round or what, is that something, is there a target that you want in terms of first 30 picks, first 40 picks or anything like that? Uh, I haven't decided on that because my whole thing is I want to go into the process with an open mind and understand what I need to improve on and what I need to get better at, but also understand that I have to make the most informed decision possible. And if it's the right time, then it is the right time. But um, it's just a matter of going into it with the mindset of I'm going to it to improve myself. Grant, what do you think you need to improve upon without going through the process? Uh, for myself, I know that I need to improve on my defensive um, capabilities on the perimeter, as well as consistently uh, shooting the three at a high level. Uh, I think I've shown that I can put the ball in the basket in other, other ways, but um, consistently knocking down the outside shot and also defending uh, smaller, quicker guys is something I need to consistently show I can do. If Rick had decided to go west, had gone, had taken that UCLA job, could could that have impacted your decision today? If that would you have decided maybe I'll just go to the draft, or did that have any impact on deciding to make it just testing the waters? Definitely made it easier <laughs> having Coach Barnes be back. Uh, if you think about it, Coach Barnes is a phenomenal guy. He's done a lot for the community. He's done so much, and I knew it was torn because. If you told myself in recruiting that I was going to get offered by a blue blood like Kentucky, UCLA, UNC, you're going to have to consider it because it's the pedigree and also you look at UCLA, Wooden and um, everything there, you got to have and trust and believe that he was going to make the best decision possible and he's going to prey on it and that he was going to understand that he's making a decision not only for himself but for those around him. And I think he, he, it took him time. I took, think it really took his heart a little bit, but he made the – decision that he thought was best, and I support it fully. I trust Coach Barnes, and I trusted him whether he was staying or leaving, and I told him that. And I have the utmost love and sincerity in my heart for him. Yeah, on that, what was yesterday like as a player here kind of watching all that unfold? And did you have a chance to talk to Coach Barnes yesterday at all? I definitely did. I talked to him three or four times, reached out to him, he reached out to me, and I just um, let him know that I trusted him because – He's a guy who's never been about himself. It's never been about money. It's never been about anything of that sort. It's always been about how he can impact people's lives. And I know that Coach Barnes, his goal is to he wants a championship. And in order to make that happen, I think he, he knows he can do it here and he knew he could do it wherever he went. So I think that being here at the University of Tennessee is something that helps him be comfortable because he loves it here. He said it many times that he has it's one of his greatest experiences in coaching being here. And with the guys he has around him, I think he, he knows that he can do it and he can provide it. Jordan, two things. Uh, 
uh, excuse me, Grant, two things. Jordan had mentioned earlier, Jordan Bone, that uh, it was tough during the season when he started getting a lot of attention from NBA scouts to, to handle that. It, how difficult was it to kind of keep from thinking about the NBA and your dreams too much during the season? Did you struggle with that at all? And then two, how do you go about the agent process and trying to decide on one that you may or may not end up keeping in the, in the end? Well, for myself, during the year, uh, I didn't really pay much attention to it. Um, I just played the game because I knew that if you put your heart and your mind into basketball, it's going to take care of itself. And uh, it's conversations with me and, me and Bono roommates, so we had conversations about it every now and again, and uh, we trust each other. But for myself, it was always about I'm going to be here for the team, and I think Bone thought the same. And uh, the second part of that question is um, when it comes to the agent, it's all about the trust and the communication because I've always been about honesty and upfrontness. And I've always been a guy who respects the, the honest truth. And whether that's you're telling me that I'm not going to be drafted or going to be drafted or um, this is what this team feels about you, I, I, I want that rather than anything else. And also I, I want to be able to have a, a personal relationship as well as a business relationship because in the end it is a business. But being able to have someone you trust and someone you care about and someone that you can put your respect into. That's huge. Grant, have you had the chance to talk with your fellow teammates? And if you have, what was that conversation like? I have. Um, those guys have been very supportive of uh, not only myself, but of everyone else. Bone, Kyle left last night, so it kind of uh, tore us up a little bit. So it was a, a long 24 hours. But uh, it was just a communication that we trust each other, we support each other. No matter what happens, we're always going to be there for each other. And that's that love and that passion that we have for each other and that um, no matter what happens, we're going to be there for one another. Grant, you kind of joked about it in your opening statement. You know, who would have thought a chubby kid would have been standing up there? At what point in your career, you know, once you started changing your body and, and, and playing in the SEC, did you kind of start to think that this day would be a possibility for you? When did that, when did your brain kind of, you know, turn, turn on that? Honestly, uh, never really hit me until looking back on it. I've always gone through the process of just understanding that it's a game and I'm going to, I love it. I love basketball. It's something that I want to do for the rest of my life. And I always thought that it would come. And if I continue to work hard, coach, coach told me it would, it would get there. And uh, I trusted him and I trusted those around me. And uh, eventually it's just said, it's, when that time comes, you'll be ready. But if it's not there, you've got to keep working. Playing off the uh, chubby kid theme, did you ever think you would become a two-time player of the year in the SEC? And is there any enticement to maybe becoming a three-time player of the year in the SEC? Uh, actually, growing up, I don't know if I could say that I would have thought that, but uh, it's kind of it's definitely enticing. It's definitely something that is going to be in the back of your mind, the things that you could do. And um, there's always going to be that uh, scenario of thinking, hey, we have a championship team. We can come back and do something special. And there's things that individually I could do that are, that are going to be kind of historic. But there's also the mindset of you have to do what's best. And you have to trust the opinion of those around you and trust your family, trust your coaching staff. And also have the trust in yourself and understand that it's your decision. And um, either way, it's a win-win. Because coming back here, I'd have a, another phenomenal year. Uh, because just the people I'm around and, and every day, no matter what basketball ha happens with basketball, I'm, I'd enjoy it. And same way, moving on. Grant, along the same lines with the possibility of coming back, are you excited about what is coming back with this Tennessee basketball program and the players coming in as well? Yes, no doubt. We have a lot of talented players coming in. You have Josiah, Drew, Devontae, and um, the guys are already here. Guys are going to step up. Guys are going to adapt. Uh, and then there's an op opportunity for Bone to come back as well. So uh, it could come back and be this, another great year and a phenomenal impact in this university and something that we haven't done in a long time. But... Uh, it's honestly, that's, we'll come, that day will come. Grant, two things. You said you leaned on your family. What was their feedback during the process? Were you guys on the same page? And also, I know you and Josiah are close. How hard has he been recruiting you uh, to get you back? My family has always been supportive of me, and they trust my decision-making. Uh, they learned that with college. They knew that they're, they can inform, but they also have to listen and understand that what they think might not be the best idea, so they're going to understand what, try and understand what I think. So they were always going to be there and support me no matter what I decided. And that's what they told me. They said, whatever decision you make, we're here for it. 
and uh, with Josiah, uh, Josiah, I talked to him yesterday, talked to him a couple times, and he's a great kid, he's a guy who's going to hopefully step into that role of being a guy who's like a kind of a recruiter and also a goofy, goofy kid that everyone's going to love around here, he's that type of personality, and he's been texting me throughout the year, and, and it's something that um, I think he'll continue to do. Just to confirm, are you still on track to graduate next month? So, Yes, I'm graduating May 10th. Thank you. Grant, could you possibly be influenced by what Jordan Bone does? If he stays, would you be more likely to stay? If he goes, would you be more likely to go? Uh, I, I, my whole thing is going to trying to go into the process with the best decision for myself. Sure, if Bone stays, um, that's huge because it adds a little bit to it, but... Um, I always wanted to go into it with the most informed decision making as, as I can because I have until May 29th to decide and that's a lot, that's a short but a long time away and I want to gather as much information as possible in order to make the best decision for myself. Time for a couple more. Yeah. Grant, how much will you, will you weigh in the feedback that you get if they say you need to work on this, this and this, but if it's things that don't match what the basketball team needs from you, how, how much do you balance that? Uh, so a huge balance because it's a matter of communication with both the staff and with the guys because you want to do things that are going to help you improve individually, but you also want to remember that it's a team and it's a thing that as much passion as you have for a later life, you can work on it here. It's about working out. It's about how much time you put in the gym. You don't necessarily have to do it in the office every single day, but it's something that you can work on on your own. And that's the perk of how our coaching staff is. They understand that you want to improve and they're going to help you improve on what you believe you should need to improve on. And they're also going to add in the things that are helping our offense. So I think Coach and Coach Barnes and staff will do a great job either way. You guys have won a lot of games the last couple of years. Is there a feeling of, of unfinished business with the way the two years have ended for you? And, and does that factor into your decision? No doubt. There's always that thought process of, um, there's more that we can do, there's more that we need to accomplish, and uh, that's something that's always going to be in your mind throughout the process, and uh, I think that no matter what's going on, you got to understand that there's, like I said, it's a win-win. If you come back, you have a lot more that we can do as a team, and individually in the future, it can be a win in that aspect as well. Hey, hey Grant, can you describe the overall feeling, emotion in the team when you guys heard that Coach was coming back last night? <laughs> guys were ecstatic. Uh, guys were excited because uh, we, we knew we were going to trust him. Whatever he did, we were going to support because same, same, same with us. We want him to live out his dreams that he has. And if that's here, which it, which it is, uh, we were going to support it. If it wasn't here, we were going to support it that way. And he's, he does that for us every single day. He puts as much time in the gym and, as anyone. And we knew that we were going to support him just like he supports us coming in the gym and spending extra hours or supports us deciding to test the process like Jump Bone and I are doing. He's always been a guy who's really showed love and care for us, and that's what we can show to him. Grant, to finish up, can you talk us through uh, your experience last week at the Naismith Awards and what you have coming up this weekend? Uh, the Naismith Awards were incredible. It was an event that allowed us to, one, bond as a group of individuals, but also meet a lot of phenomenal people at the moment. And... Uh, Zion won the award, and I was super ecstatic for him because uh, he deserved it. And it was just a weekend that you got to experience. We got to the Final Four, and we saw the Auburn-Virginia game. We saw the Texas Tech-Michigan State game, and then uh, we spent a lot of time together. So it was really fun in that aspect. And this weekend, going to L.A. for the Wooden Award will be just as exciting, I believe, because it's a group of five individuals who are really deserving of the award. And we're going out there to both enjoy it, but also understand that we're going to meet a lot of incredible people there as well. When do you go? We leave on Thursday for L.A. Finish up the events, right? Grant, do you have anything scheduled that you know of at this point in terms of workouts? What's kind of the next step for you moving forward in the prep? I have not. Um, in order for you to start that process, to submit the paperwork, which I'll probably do today, and... Um, I'll start coordinating that at a later date. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.